So this CSG model will be loaded into Qubit as CAD. And so it's going to have a rendering which looks like this. Patrick is then going to take this and generate two different meshes from this. We're going to generate a surface mesh of the fuel. So converting a single cell from CSG into DAGMC geometry. So that's shown here in the top right. And we will also generate a volume mesh for tallying power and for solving heat conduction. And one thing that's really powerful about this workflow in Qubit is that these meshes have the exact same boundary uh, mesh. And so they're exactly conformal. They can serve volume and mass, which is really important for these types of criticality applications. And it just makes data transfer so much more straightforward.